Okay. We're at... What the fuck is Alt om håndarbejdsmesse. It's all about... What the fuck is that called in English? Alt om håndarbejde. Hvad hedder det på engelsk? Everything. Oh, handcraft. Okay, so we're at... We're at some sort of market. <laughs> about handcrafting. So, I got my crutches with me. I got my friend with me. <laughs> And we're taking a chill break uh, before we're going to continue. Okay, so we're at a market about handcrafting. It's called Alt om Hannebeide uh, in Rødovre, Denmark. And uh, I got my crutches, I got my friend. <laughs> and uh, we're just taking a chill break before we're going to continue around here and see what we can find. So yeah, we were at this uh, fair or market for all sorts of yarn vendors and other creative vendors um, and we took a look around and there were so much wonderful things and for a knitter like me and, and uh, my friend as well, it was a little paradise so to say, there were all these sorts of just you know yarn itself but they're also buttons as you can see here uh, those were handcrafted uh, the glass buttons there was so much cool yarn uh, that was uh, hand dyed um, and you might see that I'm a bit uh, hooked on blue uh, at the moment but it was just so fun to see all of them those uh, crafters and vendors who um so yeah and we we circled around you know we took some some went up and down some of the uh, uh the halls and took a look and went in when we found something we just couldn't resist to have a look at and then we we in the end returned to some of the some of the things where we were like we need this this is oh it's just wonderful um, and yeah, a painter's yarn, as you see here, we, we return and, and buy some things for that. Uh, I'll show you in the end what I got. And, and just so wonderful to see all these vibrant colours. But there were also so many other types of vendors than just, you know, for general knitting. There were also these to make different kinds of, uh, you know, stuff for your home, paints. Uh, there were crepe paper and... It was just so wonderful. There were just also some people there that were just so, so great at what they did and what they do. And yeah, I had to break out the crunches uh, <laughs> in the end because uh, it was a long day. So yeah, we also took a lot of, lot of stops uh, to look at some pearls. There was a lot of pearls and a bit jewelry stuff too there. Um, and Penny, Penilla, my friend, she would like to make some stitch markers. So we uh, we took a look around at, at several of those and uh, to see what what we wanted. And uh, and yeah, so she got a lot of lovely uh, pearls for that. Um, she got some yarns for a sweater, and I got some yarn as well. That I'm going to show you. She actually bought this yarn. For a uh, for a blouse, and I think it's gonna look so great on her. So yeah, and in in the end, we um, we just sat down and knitted, um, uh, took a little break, talked, had some chill time before we uh, we were going home. And and you know that's just that's just what you need sometimes to. Uh, and it was important for me to just breathe have something to drink and just I don't know what to say but just just chill out a little bit because uh, there was a long long way around but it was super good so yes um, we ended up just sitting there the whole bit chatting and talking and and yeah knitting and it was super super great um, yeah shortly after that we um, we went home we were there till I don't know, 20 minutes before they closed up, so um, when we finished up knitting we just took a stroll down uh, the middle until we reached the part for uh, for the exit 
and there wasn't a lot of people so um, so that was kind of it was like a little bit nice just to to not uh, have to you know zigzag around people but there were so many cool vendors in there and I can definitely recommend going if you're in Denmark at the time for that I think they have several around in Denmark I'm pretty sure they just had one in Aarhus as well and I don't know if those are the ones that uh, goes other places as well um, I think that in Aarhus and Rolo and perhaps another place in in your, in your land, Jotland so yeah um, and you can see the cool blanket my my, uh, my friend is uh, is knitting on. Um, she's knitting on a baby blanket, and it's going to be so cute for one of her friends. So yeah, you can see here, there weren't really a lot of people uh, left, um, but that didn't really matter because that just made it a bit more easy to take a look at what the what there was. And uh, and yeah, you can see fabrics as well, lots of fabric. I think it was at this store with the yarn three or four times <laughs> um, looking especially at this blue yarn Penilla was very interested and look at that glitter super awesome so yeah and, and some green she had some wishes for some colors so we had a look at that but in general yeah um, we, she decided to wait but it's so nice to have to be able to go places like that and have the yarn and stuff like that in your hands so um, so we had a really great time and uh, after that we uh, we went home, she dropped me off at my place and um, and then I just uh, pretty much uh, became a zombie for the rest of the evening. But I'm so glad I left and I went. So yeah, um, I really thought it was a bit of fun to make this mini vlog it turned out to be as I was a bit of a chicken and took me quite a long time to dare to really go and film around in there but I've actually when when first I got to it it was kind of fun and I got vanilla to take some shots as well and and I hope you like what you saw just to get an impression of what it was like in there um, I'm gonna see if I can write um, if I I hope I'm, I put on the names of uh, who we saw but otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna link to their uh, their website if you are interested in, uh, in who was there if you uh, if there was something you saw that was like super cool um, and and if you would like to see more of this I'm gonna try not to be as big as chicken because it was actually quite fun and I would love to do it again uh, some someplace else but yeah I thought why not take a look at what I bought and let me tell you a bit about it I have it right here behind me. Came in this little lovely bag. Go back. So sorry for the noise. Um, yeah. Okay, it's wait. First of all, um, they have so much um, great uh, info about the yarn, how to handle it, um, and what to do before you uh, you start. Uh, when you're when you're knitting or crocheting or whatever you're doing and and then washing there's like a pamphlet on how to do that I think that's absolutely cool because it, it's it's nice to know because this is like hand dyed yarn and and it's a vibrant colors I've chosen so they're there and then here's my my receipt and then you got this cute little pamphlet as well um just a bit about her um as she says life's too short for doll yarns i agree says i in the black black and white but i love colors and it's a bit about her and um and what she uh, who she is and why it's cool that i can see and where you can find her as well if you want to see it in person when she's not on um on, on fairs. I don't know if you can see this, but she was super nice. We talked a bit about, a bit with her and everything. It was so cool. So what I got, I got two 50 gram skeins. And look at this color. They are just awesome. These colors are just so great. Um, and they really show nicely on the camera I can see so uh, let's start with the blue one because the blue one was actually one I really fell for first um, this is called Blue Lagoon 
um, and it's a sock merino mini it's called uh, and it's 75% merino and 25% nylon and it's super wash so those 50 grams goes 212 meters which is which is like yeah, regular sock yarn where 100 gram goes 400 meters so this this is the same and I just really really like the blue color I think it's so vibrant and so much there and yeah I love I love this kind of I really love vibrant colors um, so yeah and then the other one I found I, I realized I can I could make I talked with Joan the one the from paint jars as we talked a bit about how much I would need for a pair of socks and she said I could I could manage with just one so I was like then I can get another color because I was originally taking two of these you know thinking I'm um, a bit in doubt if one would be enough for a pair in, in my size. I use 39 slash 40 um, EU size. Um, but when she said that, I was like, great. If I do a contrasting toe and heel, plenty. I think that will be super cool. So I found the green one as well and thought, oh, it's just vibrant and cool and just me. So this green one is called Jungle. And it's the same base, the same sock merino mini with the merino and the nylon superwash. Um, and yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do at least with one of them. I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do the one where you do an afterthought heel. Um, I've seen knitting traditions talk, talk a lot about this, and I and showed some of hers, and I just I. I think that's so exciting and that's so that's why I'm also thinking that it would just be perfect for this little one because then I can do I can end the um, sock with the toe in a contrast color and I can just knit until I don't have it I can split it into two and then knit the socks until there's no more yarn left and then I can pick up stitches for the for the heel in a contrast color again so yeah, I'm gonna do with one of one of them. I don't know which uh, yet, but I'm super excited. I haven't tried doing that type of heel um, before, so so I'm really excited for for trying to do that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we had such a uh, fun time there, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you wanna follow along if I do more. If you if you did like this type of video, this type of vlog. Um, mini vlog. Do please give this one a thumbs up and uh, write a comment if there's anything specifically you would like to know. Um, or yeah, write what you what you think. And if you wanna follow me anywhere else beside here, you can find me on Instagram and on TikTok, where I both both places go by uh, by Michelle Knappman. Um, and uh, otherwise I hope you have a great time and I will see you uh, sometime soon when uh, I think I'm going to do a regular podcast episode uh, in, well not very long. So uh, thank you so much for watching, stay safe and have a nice.